Hey everybody, it's Sherry at The Crafty Decorator. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am here with another little iron-on project. I did this maybe two years ago using window clings. So I bought these last year at Dollar Tree. How pretty are these bunnies? I'm not sure if they have them again this year. I know they have some kind of Easter window clings. But I got these last year at Dollar Tree. And I did a Christmas one last year using the little red truck, I think, or something. But I have this Dollar Tree egg. This is the one. Gosh, I'm getting a shadow. This is the egg um, that's already like white finished from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you can iron the window cling to your wooden project. So this is a wooden egg from Dollar Tree. And take one of your clings here. Now I'm not sure. You can trim around it if you wanna trim around it. Do I just wanna put her in the middle? Um, I'm kinda of trying to decide here. Okay, that and then think I'm going to have her like looking at the butterfly like that. I'm going to do that. Lay them on here on your wooden egg. Cover with parchment paper. I have my little steam fast iron. You do not want steam. Uh, I have it turned to the highest setting which is 200 Celsius and 3 92 Fahrenheit. You're going to want to iron this on here. Now this, if you had seen um, my video of doing the plastic tablecloth, I tell you not to hold it and keep moving. This, you kind of want to hold and just like move around in that little spot, pressing down. You can hold it there for a couple seconds. This takes a little longer than the plastic tablecloth because they're heavier. They're like a vinyl more than like plastic. You can check it um, and see if you're sticking on there. I think I might be good. I'm just going to give it a, a quick little pressure there. Okay, I'm good. I'm stuck on there. I am stuck on there. <laughs> Look at how cute is this? How simple is that? Okay, I'm going to show you a couple things. So this is the white wooden egg from Dollar Tree. They also sell, Dollar Tree has these. Now, this is not really wood. This is the, I don't know what I want to call it, um, compressed. This is the compressed, it's not really wood. This, you can also use. I already have one cut out, well, two cut out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to use the yellow or the purple. You get two for a dollar twenty-five, and I think I I'm gonna use this little flowering can that's on there with the eggs. Let's see. I think I'm gonna, I'll do the yellow. I did the purple as a test run on this to see if it's gonna work, but this is very simple. You do not even have to paint these eggs. You do not even have to paint them. Again, place your parchment paper over and apply pressure. Apply pressure to it. So simple. It's just so simple. Just checking. I want to make sure it's Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I want to make sure it's stuck on there good. Okay. Oh, goodness. 
How cute is this? Okay, there's the yellow. Here's the purple. I did both a while, little while ago to try it to make sure it was going to work. So this is stuck on there. How cute is this? Okay, there's that. Then I brought up a hang tag. I thought we could try a hang tag. I'm not sure what's going to fit on here. I got to try. These are the Dollar Tree hang tags. I think this is part of that farmhouse collection. It doesn't say, it just says Crafter Squared Decor. We're going to try a hang tag. This is also that compressed, that compressed wood. I'm not sure what's going to fit on here. I have to see. I think the basket is going to be too big. Let's see. Yeah, that's too big. We can might do carrots. Let's do the water and can again. Let's do the water and can. Oh, that's really cute. That's very cute. Okay, place it on your hang tag there. Again, make sure you cover where your parchment paper. You don't want to ruin your iron. I've not tried this hang tag yet, so we're trying this together. <laughs> we're trying this together. Okay, because I got something really cool to show you when I'm done with this. I thought I would try all of these first. I also did a little wooden egg with the carrots on it. So the carrot on the hang tag would also be cute. The little bunch of carrots. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Not stuck there, bud. Let's see, am I stuck? Let me just give it a... Ooh, there we go. <gasps> How cute. Very simple. Very simple. Whoops. I'm going to say don't play with it until it cools. <laughs> Till it cools. Let me just fix this a little bit. Oh, Sherry. See, I ruined this one. Going over it too much. Okay, don't go over it so much. <laughs> or don't apply so much pressure. I think I ruined it with the pressure. But it's kind of cute still. It's crackled. It's crackled. So don't apply too much pressure. Why rubbing it? Apply pressure why sitting it down, but don't apply pressure why rubbing it. Because that kind of took my little thing. I still like it though. It's crackly. I still like it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. If you saw how I applied the tablecloth to this wooden egg from Dollar Tree. This was the plain wooden egg that I painted and then did the tablecloth on top. And I said in the video that a bunny would be cute in the center. Okay, voila. <laughs> I took the clean bunny from here. This little guy right here. So when you peel him off, he had the little um, white with the polka dots around it. I'm going to show you here. He's got the white around him with the polka dots. I didn't want that on there. So I trimmed it. <coughs> oh, I got something picky. Um, I trimmed the white from around this bunny. Now we're going to do this. Now this you have to be careful because you have your tablecloth, plastic tablecloth on there. And you really don't want to be ironing the plastic tablecloth again. So let's see, I'm going to put this on here and I'm just going to try to iron my little bunny, not so much the tablecloth that's already on the egg. I'm only, I'm not using the whole iron, I'm kind of using the tip of the iron because I don't want to hit the whole tablecloth again. I could hold this on there for a second. 
All right, I'm gonna look at it and see what it's looking like because I don't want to. I think I need to do his legs a little. And that one ear. I'm just using the tip of the iron. <laughs> Don't put pressure while you're rubbing for this, for these clingies, because it will pull your cling. It will pull your cling. Okay, I think he's good. He's on there. He's on there. Look, <laughs> how cute are these? I did them on both sides. I did them on both sides. You could, I don't know, add carrots on there if you want to add carrots, but I just did the bunny and how cute is he? Kind of let them cool before you be rubbing all over them. <laughs> yeah, how cute. Okay, that's just my quick little video. So don't forget, don't put pressure while you're rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> because this will happen. It did not happen to these because I didn't put pressure on them and rub. This one I did. I shouldn't have did that. Here's my little carrots. I did this onto a painted egg. I don't know what. These eggs might be from Walmart. There's no little hole for hanging on there. Um, but I did the carrots on the little egg. The carrots would be cute on the hang tag also. They would be cute on the hang tag. But yeah, I kind of messed that hang tag up. I'm going to have to try a new one. Okay, thanks for joining me. And I hope you like my idea of attaching the clings on here. Now, you could put a coating over this if you want to put a sealer over it. But I don't think it's going to come off. It's on there. Good. I did this one with flowers and butterflies before but as I look at it I think it's too much I kind of like this better and do a trim around the egg all right what else anything that's it guys I hope you like this idea thanks for joining me bye